What up, boys? Back on the subscriber-only franchise in Madden 24, man. We're in week four against the Seattle Seahawks, who literally thought we were getting a CPU game, and we had a user join like 20 minutes ago. He's going to join with the Rams, switches over to the Seahawks last minute, and then didn't even know that he gets the draw against me in week four, man. So let's get right into it, dude. I mean, I feel pretty good. You know, we, we've been tearing it up this season, guys. And we're 3-0. A couple of really, really close games. Um, well, I'd say week two was an absolute... I mean, 21-point unanswered comeback win. And then um, a couple of really, really good games in week one and three as well, man. So I, I, I know nothing about this kid's game plan. Literally just joined today. But we can't count anybody out, man. We got to do a clean slate every game like it's the first one of the season, man. So we're 0-0 and headed for week four. So Ali McNeil still needs to be signed, boys. So he said no last week. I think if we just bump this money up a little bit, no franchise QB, give Howell a year, motherfucker. So let's bump it up. I think 300K should get the job done. Okay, well, you're an asshole. So you're, you will be re-signed. I, I, I'll literally... What, I got to throw in a cheeseburger? V2 Melifamu, uh, 25. He may be re-signed. Did have, uh, like I said last episode, one of uh, the biggest interceptions in that uh, Texans game that we probably wouldn't have won without that. So I like him for the depth. He is only 25 and he's really cheap. So I'm going to sign him. I'm going to sign him to a three-year deal. He's back. And then I, I still want to think about the rest of these guys. I don't think we're going to bring Ashton Davis back. I'm interested in bringing Brock Wright back potentially, but I honestly think we could sign a tight end that's just as good. We got a QB1 check-in here as we've been doing pretty well. Uh, Howell has 11 TDs to three interceptions, um, just under, I believe, 1,000 yards, um, 800 yards. We're 11th in the league. Um, last game, we did not get a lot of opportunities to throw the football. So honestly, some of these guys, I mean, Joe Milton, 1,200 yards from the Giants user. He's been tearing it up through the air. Holy smokes. Tua and Trevor Lawrence as well, over 1,000. So I think all those guys have played their games, though. So with a big game here, 300 yards, we put ourselves right into the top ranks. Um, we see the game so far. Chiefs beat the Steelers by three. Giants beat the Bucks by seven as well. And then uh, literally nobody else has played their game. So actually Jags is at a thousand yards and hasn't even played his game yet. So he will probably be the leading passer after this week. So let's jump right into it. QB one check in here. I'm going to praise Sam. He's one of the players I really want to develop and we got to beat him and have 300 plus yards passing with Sam Howell. All right, let's jump into weekly strategy, boys, and then it's game time. Okay, no upgrades ahead of the game, man. We're jumping right in. I'm searching, and it's game time, baby. Let's go. All right, boys, it's game time here in week four. We're at home at Ford Field, and it's time to give them hell. Let's get it going. We're kicking off first, coming out on defense. Jeremy Chin with two sacks last week. Let's see what he can do here. Keep it in front of us. Let's go. Stuck on my D-line, man. Damn it. Stepped out. Let's go. That's bailout. Holy smokes. Play action. That's me. That's my rock. Give me my rock, man. Come on. He was throwing a pick. Give me my rock! Give me my cookies! I'm hungry! And I'm going all the way to Painter! Oh, he honked me down! Come on! Woo! That's what it's all about, baby. Nobody lurks like Dev, man. They don't do it. They just don't make them like they used to. And run this football. And our left, I mean, our left guard just completely blew his block. That's mine. Laporta. Touchdown. He's not going to catch that. I just knocked my knocked my mic out. But he's not going to catch that, man. Because he's usering on a linebacker. No chance. 
No chance. He's not animating. And that is a Lions touchdown as we're on the board first here in week four. Let's go, baby. The interception to the touchdown. That's, oh my God. Oh, oh I, I didn't commit. I did not commit enough. There we go. Good tackle, Kirby Joseph. Give me mine. Go get him, Hutch. Hutch, get him. Can't get there. Damn. We were willing to give up the run. He hasn't ran. He's, that was his second run of the game. Play action. Go get him. He evades him. Group sack. That's a rush for no gain? Wow. That guy's neck is fusing through time and space. That's all me. That's all. I can't get there. Oh, my God. Ran out of time. We'll take it. Holy audibles. This kid makes so many adjustments at the line. Audible again. Holy smokes. Buddy. Touchdown. Touchdown. Barely fit it in. Good read. Good read. Good read. I'll give it to him. Good read. All right. All tied up 7 7. Bro's got some plays for sure. Bro's got some plays. I still am amazed that he has been able to evade sacks pretty much every single time with Geno fucking Smith. Oh, that's a touch. That's literally a fucking touchdown, bro. Put the ball on the money, please. There we go. He's leaving the corner out. It's wide open. First quarter is over, and we got we got a potential dogfight on our hands right now, man. 7-7. Seven, seven, six minutes to go here in the second. I mean, can we hit somebody? Can you hit anybody in stride? Please. DPJ and Adonai Mitchell's on the bench again. <laughs> and although we missed some massive throws, we find ourselves at the 26 yard line. We're battling, man. Let's keep it going, baby. Pick up blocks. Pick up blocks. Gibbs. Keep fighting. Seven yards. Four for 11. Go upfield. Montgomery, pick up the block. Come on, buddy. Let me go to the house. Oh, pancakes. Gibbs. Touchdown. Big time pancake by the rookie Christian Mahogany. And we make it 14-7. Let's go, baby. Let's freaking go, baby. That's a really good read. It's a really good read. We took away the deep ball. Oh, dude. What? <laughs> dude, there's no one around. Play action. Intercepted! Ashton Davis jumps in front of the football. He won't be caught down the sideline. Touchdown. Pick six. Ashton Davis and the free agent signing gets his first of the season. What a play by Ashton freaking Davis. He's under pressure, tries to check down. We've got the, the flat covered. And we start to pull away maybe here. Let's go. Talk about guys we didn't know would be on our team to start the season. Chin with a big pick. And then Ashton Davis with the pick six, man. Okay, we got it. Really good run D. What's that going to be on? Is that holding? It is. Go get him. Hodge gets one. Back on the sack board. And we're headed to two minutes. His ninth sack of the year after getting eight in opening week. He hasn't gotten a single sack in the last two games. He's back on the board with his ninth of the year in week four. 
Dejean can't get hands up. Got to get those mitts up, bud. Wow. Knockout. Free agent signing Hunter Renfro is going crazy right now. I mean... That's a sack. Who is it? It's the rookie Jonah Ellis whose body is continuing to fuse through his jersey. This is a cyborg. We drafted a cyborg in Madden 24. <laughs> That's not a thing, but I'm making it one. Big time sack. And the defense starting to come alive. That's why we were comfortable trading James Houston. It's another one for Hutch. Number two. Big Hutch has 10 sacks through four weeks. He's an animal. Call him the manimal. <laughs> nope, it is a crosser's route. And keep it in front of us. Keep it in front of us? Does somebody want to tackle on this team? We got him! Jonah Ellis! I'm covering the flat. There's nothing there. It's Lockdown City, baby. Ah, come on. You want it? You got it. Welcome to the league, buddy. Jonah Ellis, you guys who said, oh, Continental, you said, I remember. Oh, I wouldn't have traded James Houston. Well, how about Jonah freaking Ellis with two sacks? Let's go, baby. We got, we got, we got Amon Ra open, turn up field, broken tackle, out at the one. And we're going to walk in here, touchdown, Jameer Gibbs to end the first, 28 to 7. And that's 21 unanswered by your Lions. Defense has stepped up in a big way. We're getting the ball at halftime too, boys. Don't forget about that. I will say, dude, he runs some of the most unique formations ever. He's running far far pro like near far pro or whatever that set is you almost never see anybody run that see what he does here i dude if jonah ellis can get a breakout game i mean how unbelievable would that be he was gonna be open i think too jonah ellis look at this guy his, his fucking his fucking helmet is fusing through his skull there we go just tap him down and that is halftime, boys. Well, let's keep it going. Foot on the gas, man. We're not taking our foot off the gas. Run front looks too good. Run front looks too good. Oh, my God. That could, dude, that could have been way bigger, honestly. Howell. Howell with space. Get the first, baby. Let's go. Go outside here. I need... We're stiff farming, but G Montgomery is just not running to the next level when he needs to block. Dude is the most cheeks fucking fullback ever. This is why he shouldn't be playing fullback. He's a running back. Running this. St. Brown gives up the block almost immediately, but it doesn't matter. Pick up the first. JMO touchdown. He hasn't been getting a lot of yards this year, but he's got a touchdown, I believe, in every single game we've played this year. And that is another one there as we're going up 35 to 7. Oh, he's he's trying to silence the crowd. You're down by 28 at Ford Field. What did you expect? It's one of the loudest places to play in the league. Not only for the crowd, but you're in a dome. It's one pride. You're not silencing this crowd. Dejean, he snatched it out of his hands. Why are you on What is he doing? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? Why is he doing this? My rookie had a chance at a pick six. It's okay. He still gets his first interception of the year. Literally grabbed it out of the dude's arms. Outside handoff here. Montgomery. Oh, wow. We're sneaky. We're sneaky. Let's run it again. Really good weak side. Laporta just didn't block. I mean. 
We'll just kick the three. We'll kick the three. I'm not going to pull a Mike Weiland and beat somebody 124 to 6. All right? <laughs> I'm not doing it, man. It's bad. It's bad for morale. It's bad for PR. All right? <laughs> we're, we're, we're showing some respect here. All right? 38 to 7. Could have definitely gone for it. I didn't even realize it was third down when I picked that play. A really bad play, honestly. <laughs> Just stock hitches. Run play here. Oh, what a juke. Holy. Balls out. Balls out. Grab it. Davis has got the football. Yes, sir. Cookies all around. We're having a damn bake sale at Ford Field. Who was it? It was Brian Branch punched the football out. I don't know what I'm doing. I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> oh, we're having too much fun with it now at the end. Intercepted. We do it again. We throw an interception right at the end because we just start fucking around. It's so stupid, dude. I don't know why I do that. I always do that. Dude, I mean, the run is ridiculous. Seven for 80. Come on, man. Just the Hunter Renfro show. He's playing the whole game. My guy. I like this guy. I like this guy. This is a good user. Run play here, and it's massive. Screen play here. Screen play. How does he get that through? None of his linemen even made it through. What? Dude, what the fuck was that? How did his lineman... He I, he was caught in a blender of bodies. Look at this. None of his linemen even made it out of the backfield. That's pretty unbelievable that he even got the time to do that on a screenplay. Because I feel like I never do. You're not quieting this crowd, buddy. You're not quieting this crowd. You're down 31. Oh, yep. Yep, yep, yep. He's going to run for 100 yards. Really? We have the we have the most ass DBs in the league potentially because nobody reacted to that. Like it's clear. Tackle him into the end zone. Dude, like what are we doing here, man? <laughs> 252 left. We're gonna we're definitely gonna not take our foot off the gas here. I want more points. We've got it, and we're gonna score. Oh, he saved it! The guy was out. Can you do that? Can you go out of bounds and come back in bounds and tackle somebody? Because we were going to pay dirt. Jukes. Keep going. 15 for 72 and two touchdowns. Gibbs has been on a tear lately. Out of reach. Six for 12 for Howell. He's been incredibly inaccurate this game. Like, really inaccurate this game in the majority of the games he's been lights out so got laporta wide or that's actually brock Wright. brock Wright gonna get involved there and we got two minutes left here and gibbs is gonna have his third of the day three tds for jameer gibbs feed gibbs man i'm telling you if he gets abilities watch out Watch out, man. This guy is a stud. And we will feed him. 45 to 14. Let's go, boys. Go get him, Hutch. Dude. What? What's the... Why? Why was it... Why would you hit him? Play action. Go get him. He actually gets a yard, falls forward for a yard there. So, that's a swallowed up. It's DJ Reader again. Play action. Oh, I'm behind it. I'm behind it. Valdez Scantling has crazy speed, dude. 48 seconds. I know where that's going, and I still... I don't want to give up a touchdown here. It's a run play. I'm all over it. I'm all over it. 
45-14 is a really good looking score. I don't want 45-21. I don't know why. I want a little bit of morale for this defense to take to the bank. He just run out of bounds. He actually got it out of bounds. <laughs> Dude, he was toe he was literally toe tipping on the sideline. Is that that's not the saying. Tight roping. Toe tipping? The fuck is that? Carlton Davis sign this guy up for construction duty tomorrow because he's got brick hands. Oh, wow. He's going to have so much room. Big shot, balls. <laughs> Boom. <laughs> and that's how we're going to end this one is Gino just getting absolutely obliterated by Brian Branch, who had two forced fumbles on the day. We're going to be good sports here. We're going to take a knee. QB Neal, 19 seconds left. GG's to bro. 45-14 is your final, man. Welcome to the league, brother. When you watch this, I appreciate you, man. And, uh, yeah, it was a fun one. It was a fun one. All right, boys. And we walk away 45-14 to here. I mean, defensively, it was an incredible game. Howell had a off game. 157 yards, two touchdowns. But really, the turnovers for us allowed us to get really good field position on most of our possessions. Um, and yeah, we were, we were, we really had short fields. He only threw the ball 13 times. He threw the ball over twice as much as us, by the way. So 57.7 passer rating for Geno Smith, 15 to 27, 237, and one touchdown to three picks. Howell, 104.8 passer rating, 7 to 13, 157, two touchdowns and an interception. Rushing. 16 for 78 for Gibbs. Three rushing touchdowns is also the reason why we only passed for two. Um, then also Kenneth Walker, 12 for 108 and a touchdown, but also lost a fumble. Um, Gino, three for 18, also lost a fumble, got destroyed on the final play. And then Howell, two for four. Receiving four for 93 for Renfro. I'm pretty sure he just signed off waivers. He tore it up, actually. <laughs> Um, three for 23 for Walker, uh, Fant three for 45, Amon Ra again, three for 84. I think last week he was three for 76. So just very consistently gets open. Uh, Scant Valdez Scantling two for 43. Um, Jackson Smith and Jigba had two for 20 and a touchdown. Uh, Brock Wright one for 14, Sanat one for 13, Williams one for 18. And his only catch was a TD. Uh, people's Jones had one catch for 29 and Laporta's only catch as well was a touchdown. Adonai Mitchell dropped one as well. Defensively, uh, two sacks for Hutch. He's back on the board and up to double digit sacks now and two sacks for the rookie Jonah Ellis, who we really want to develop stepping in for the, the recently traded James Houston and shows out, man. I was impressed and really hope that that's a sign of things to come. Cam Jordan had a sack as well. And then interceptions, one by Awuzie, and then three for us. One by Davis, uh, who had the pick six. One by Chin as a user. And then one by DeGene. He literally ripped it out of bro's hands. Um, we also saw two forced fumbles for Brian Branch. And then two fumble recoveries by Carlton Davis. It was literally Branch and Davis single-handedly taking the football from him. <laughs> And that was the ball game. 45-14, big W. Let's go. Jonah Ellis gets an upgrade. Well-deserved for the kid. Got to change his appearance, though, because his neck is literally fusing. I, I can see it now, guys. Look at this hunchback of Notre Dame-looking motherfucker. Look at his back. I can see his neck. Bro, fix your neck. Plus two finesse move. Plus one pursuit. Plus one tackles. Huge. Jonah Ellis now 82 speed. 80 finesse move at 72 overall that's unbelievable just crazy i'm excited to develop to develop him over the next few seasons um we will change his appearance we can't have bro's neck getting in the way and the qb1 check-in we're not going to get it we did not pass for 300 yards the field we just had two short of field situations um and we ran the football a good amount so uh 
He does have plus five and deep, medium deep, plus five medium, plus five deep for the next game, which hopefully that can help him, man, because he was missing a, a good amount of throws. So uh, he's still developing though. And, uh, you know, still, still feel good about how he played as a whole. Just uh, could have been even an even bigger day for him. So week five, we take on the Green Bay Packers. Week six, we take on the Dolphins. Um, and yeah, we are at the top here at 4-0. A couple other undefeated teams still, but man, we got to feel good about how we're playing and dominating the NFC right now, man. So uh, excited for things to come, but I will see you guys in week five, man. If you like this, enjoy this episode, make sure to drop a like, man. And let me know in the comments what you think our final record is going to be at the end of the season, man. And if you want to join this league, we still got a couple teams open, man. You saw this kid literally just joined 20 minutes before the game, man. Click the link in the description and all you have to do is subscribe to me and Toes Exposed, the other YouTuber that I'm co-running this with. Uh, you guys just have to sub to him as well. And then you're in, pick a team, and the rest is history, man. So I will catch you guys in the next one, week five against the Green Bay Packers. Appreciate you stopping by. As always, peace.